हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज़ पार्ट टेन ऑफ टैबलो इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो इफ़ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर अपकमिंग एंड इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोस सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट आर द डिफरेंट रोल बेस्ड लाइसेंस टैबलू ऑफर्स सो टैबलू ऑफर थ्री टाइप ऑफ लाइसेंस दैट इज व्यूअर क्रिएटर एंड एक्सप्लोर फर्स्ट वन इज व्यूअर एज द नेम सजेस्टेड This license allow users to view and interact with published visualization and dashboard on the server. They are not meant to be create dashboard and updating the dashboard. They can just view the data and get their subscription of the data for their required job. Okay. Second one is creator. This license grants Tableau Desktop plus Tableau Prep Builder and by using this license you can create and publish new workbook. You can add it embedded data source as well and you can publish new data connections as well okay basically if you are involved in all type of uh, tableau activities that related to tableau desktop pre builder creating new data connections and publishing new data source on the tableau server you should have creator license okay third one is explorer explorer is basically you can say subset of creator license okay by using this license you can access the workbook authoring and collaboration capabilities through web page or browser by explorer you can edit or customize already exist dashboard you can create new dashboard as well by using published data source but you cannot publish new data source okay let's move to our next question can we automate tableau reports yes we can automate tableau report first we have to publish the report to the tableau server and when publishing report uh, you have to schedule the reports and then you can specify when you want to refresh your data okay this is how you can automate your reports let's move to the next question what is gantt chart gantt chart is a bar chart displayed a picture of tasks scheduled over time it is useful for managing projects and planning out their timelines okay this is how the gantt chart look like you can create gantt chart by using a date field and using dimension you can drag the measures into the size to adjust the size of the gantt chart okay let's move to the next question what is cascading filter cascading filter is also called dependent filter cascading filter are the one where the selection of one filter causes the second to show only those value that are relevant okay let's let's create cascading filter into the tableau to create an cascading example let's drag sub category with sales and drag category and sub category into filter okay and now go to our dashboard and drag our sheet and show our category filter as well okay now how we can make it so just go to filter 1 go to their drop down and select only relevant values okay and let's make it to single values now if we select all it is showing all sub category and if we select only furniture it is showing all the sub category that are related to category furniture and if we select office supply it is showing all sub category that are related to office supplies okay and same for technology as well this is how you can create cascading filter our next question is how we can apply different color to each measures present in the view we can use separate legend option to apply different color to each measures if you want to know more about this i have uploaded a video on how we can use separate legend options i'll provide the link in the description box okay let's move to our next question which chart type have slowest processing time in tableau cross tab is one of the slowest visualization type followed by map chart okay let's move to our next question which type of filter should be minimized for faster loading quick filter should be minimized for faster loading okay that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos